friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So since long time we have been discussing that living organisms live in different habitats. So living organisms, living organisms, as if living organisms are something which are like more important. But when we discussed about the habitat, we also saw that it is not only the living components which are important, even the non-living components are equally important. How do we really distinguish between what is living and what is non-living? I mean, how do we decide that, okay, uh, this fish is living and how do we decide that this pen is non-living? So what, what are those properties based on which we decide whether an organism is living or non-living? So we will discuss, uh, we will spend some time to understand this. So let us look at certain objects around us which are living and certain other objects which are non-living. No, now very easily you will be able to distinguish between the two. So you think of something like the chairs, tables, the umbrella, fan, the electric bell or the guitar. So what are these? These are all non-living. Whereas when you look at uh, organisms like an elephant or a mouse or a bird or a tree or a human being, what are these? These are living. Now on what basis do we decide that these are living and these are non-living? Now some of us might say that okay, when you look at a guitar, it doesn't move on its own from one place to another. But if you look at an elephant, it does move. So we can say that elephant is living and the guitar is non-living. But if I ask you what about a plant, a plant also doesn't move from one place to another. But you still say that it is living. So therefore, it is not only one characteristic based on which we can decide that an organism is living or non-living. There are a set of characteristics which are present in a living organism. Now a non-living organism might also fulfill one or two of those characteristics but they will not fulfill all those characteristics. So let's say if I say that a living organism can move and a non-living organism cannot move. So you might find a certain non-living organisms which can also move for example a bus or a car or a or any vehicle for that matter they all move but they are non-living similarly if i tell you that okay a living organism is uh, it, it always moves even that doesn't hold true that's because when you look at a tree the tree doesn't move from one place to another but still it is living so we really cannot decide this fact whether uh, an organism is living or non-living just based on one or two characteristics. So here we will see what are those features which makes living organisms different from non-living. So some of these are living organisms eat food. So we need food. We cannot survive without food. Whether it is human beings or uh, animals, birds, insects, all living organisms need food. But when you look at a chair or a table, it doesn't need any food. It doesn't need any energy. Living things grow. We generally see a plant growing. We see uh, a human being growing, a small baby boy growing to become a big adult. So height increases, weight increases. There is overall growth. You think of the living organisms, they respire, they breathe, there is exchange of gases happening in living organisms. Why? Because there, there are a lot of processes taking place inside their body to generate energy. But when you look at non-living organisms, most of the non-living organisms for that matter, they do not breathe. Living things excrete wastes. Now since there are so many processes taking place inside the body of a living organism, there are waste materials which are also generated within the body. So throwing those waste materials out of the body is what we call as excretion. So excretion is again another characteristic which tells us that these organisms are living. Living things move. As I said, that most of the living organisms, they are capable of moving from one place to another. However, plants are an exception to that. Living things reproduce. Living things can produce more organisms of their own kind. Like human beings produce new human beings. They give birth to their babies. Similarly, when you look at a plant, a plant can give rise to new plants. So all living organisms for that matter, they are capable of reproducing. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.